Hello, Map Growth Partners. The Class Profile Report may look familiar to many of you due to the fact that we launched the beta version in the summer of 2021. For the summer of 2022, the official release will include new filtering options, allowing you to quickly identify trends and access classroom and student level insights. In addition to improving the user experience for the Class Profile Report, our tech team was also able to finalize a key data transfer and greatly improve data accessibility for all teachers. This improvement was made possible because, once again, our partners raised their hand during the beta phase and provided feedback. So thank you. Our next enhancement brings an upgrade to the MAP Growth testing experience. As part of ongoing efforts to improve testing for students and educators, NWEA has decided to standardize the number of items on the tests shown here. For many of these assessments, this new maximum of 43 items will decrease the length of the test. This means students should complete MAP growth assessments in less time, enabling educators to have more time to spend on classroom instruction. Our final MAP growth enhancement is a useful tool for educators without a state-based linking study. The previous linking study, known as the generic linking study, was derived from a prior generation of NWEA research. We have updated the linking study, now called the default linking study, using modern NWEA research and a much more evidence-based methodology. This enhancement will result in more realistic end-of-year proficiency projections for partners without a state-based linking study. This change is reflected in the July software release. The science and practice of assessment and learning continues to evolve, and MAP growth moves with it constantly improving to help more students learn and grow. For more information on this and other new MAP Growth features, please chat with your NWEA account manager and visit our What's New page at nwea.org.